वेलकम टू सभी यूट्यूब चैनल क्रिएटेड बाय साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बेंगलोर इन द लास्ट फ्यू सेशंस वी हैव सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन थिवेनेंस एंड नॉट ऑन थीरम इन दिस सेशन लेट अस स्टार्ट ए न्यू थीरम दैट इज मैक्सिमम पावर ट्रांसफर थीरम मींस आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग दिस थीरम we can conclude that what is the condition for maximum power transfer we know that the general interest of designing any electrical or electronic system is to transfer power from source to the load so suppose if i consider an electrical network or an electronic system you may be applying some input through some source and will be taking the output will be taking the out output and it is connected to some load load so our intention as a designer as a design engineer we have to design the circuit such that maximum power should be transferred to the load from the source we will be applying the input power here and that power should reach this load we should obtain maximum power to the load in between you have a circuit to perform some function suppose if you are using an amplifier so here we'll be using an amplifier circuit consisting of transistor will be amplifying the signal at the same time this circuit should transfer maximum power from source to the load suppose if you are designing a rectifier it is converting ac to dc this system is converting ac to dc at the same time this circuit or the system should transfer maximum power from source to the load under what conditions power transferred from source to the load is maximum it will transfer the power no doubt but i want to transfer maximum power to the load under what conditions power transferred to the load is maximum it depends upon the type of the source we are using and the type of the load we are using so in electrical system we use a source as either a dc source or ac source load in electrical system we consider resistive load inductive load capacitor load or the combination of rl or rc so depending upon the type of the source and the type of the load this maximum power transfer depends hence uh, to discuss this condition of maximum power we can con consider under some different cases what cases we can consider is let us consider first uh, dc source here and assume the load is purely resistive and let us obtain the condition for maximum power transfer case 2 i'll change the source to ac and i'll keep the load same that is case 2 let us take ac source load is purely resistive let us get the condition for maximum power transfer case 3 i will keep the source ac same and i'll take the complex load complex load nothing but it may be rl load it may be rc load then what is the condition for maximum power transfer that is what uh, we are deriving now the condition for maximum power transfer depending upon the type of the source and the type of the load so first uh, case uh, case 
I will consider DC source and and load is load is purely resistive. Case two, case two, I will change the source AC source and the load I will keep same. Then case three, case three, I will keep the source same and I will change the load. The load is complex. Complex load means it may be combination of RL or RC. So we know that in Thevenin's theorem, any linear bilateral network can be replaced by a single voltage source V Thevenin in series with a resistance or an impedance R Thevenin. So if I take this as no determinal C and B, so I am converting any network into a single voltage source in series with the resistance across the same load terminals. Hence uh, to derive the condition of maximum power transfer theorem, I will take such a simple circuit considering three cases. First case I will take DC source and the load is purely resistive and keep resistive load and it is a variable load. This is case 1. Then case 2 I will change the source and keep the load same. So AC source how to represent AC source? This is AC source that is case 2 AC source. Load I will keep same when you take an AC source I will change the source resistance to source impedance. We will take the source impedance as it is, then I will derive the condition of maximum power transfer. Case 3, I will keep the AC source same. Now I will change the load that is complex load. That complex load is, load is represented as load impedance ZL and I will take this as the variable load. Like that, by considering three different cases, I am going to derive the condition of maximum power. Now, let us take one by one. Let us take uh, the first condition, that is first case. I am going to consider DC source and I am going to consider purely resistive load and it is a variable load. How to represent a DC source? So, a voltage source in series with a resistance. This is the internal resistance of the source. Let us assume that this is the load terminal A and B. Now, what load I am considering? Purely resistive load and it is a variable load. So, let us take the load here, resistive load and it is a variable load. Now what is my aim? My aim is to obtain the condition for maximum power trans transfer in this case. When the source is a DC, load is purely resistive. So what I should do? First I should get the equation for power transfer to the load. To find the power, I should know the current in the circuit. Let us uh, take current uh, in this loop as I L or I anything you can take. So let us write uh, the equation for current. So from the circuit, from the circuit, so I is equal to or I L is equal to if I take I, I is equal to so V S divided by R S plus R L. So loop current is given by I is equal to V S divided by R S plus R L. So what is the power? Power transferred to the load. 
P is equal to I squared into RL. This is the power equation. Therefore, P is equal to Vs divided by Rs plus RL whole square into RL. That is equal to Vs squared into RL divided by Rs plus RL whole square. This is the general power equation for this circuit. Let this equation number 1. Now, my aim is to derive the condition for maximum power transfer. For this, uh, what we should do is, we have to differentiate this power equation with respect to the variable, which is the variable here RL. Because the source voltage is fixed, source resistance is constant. So only variable which we can consider to adjust the value such that we should get maximum power is given by RL here. Hence, uh, this is considered as variable. So we have to differentiate this power with respect to the variable RL and then we have to equate to 0. Therefore, to get uh, the condition to get the condition for maximum power transfer to get the condition for maximum power transfer differentiate differentiate the equation 1 with respect to the variable the variable RL and then equate to 0 equating to 0 that is we have to differentiate this power equation with respect to the variable RL and then we have to equate to 0 that is that is differentiation of power equation with respect to RL should be So differentiation of power with respect to RL should be 0. So let us now differentiate this equation with respect to RL. So I want to differentiate this. This is of the form U by V form. So I want to differentiate this. So what is this? Uh, that is equal to denominator v square into v u dash minus v so denominator square u by v forum it is of u by v forum so v square v u dash minus u v dash so we have to differentiate using quotient rule now let us differentiate this using quotient rule so d by the RL of power equation is what? V S squared into RL divided by R S plus RL whole square should be 0. Now let us differentiate this using quotient rule. R S plus RL whole square whole square denominator square then keep uh, V what is V here denominator keep this denominator R S plus RL whole square then dash represent differentiation differentiation of numerator is what so since uh, here vs is constant take it outside so differentiation of numerator is 1 minus keep the numerator as it is then differentiation of denominator denominator differentiation what is the differentiation of denominator 2 into rs plus rl is equal to 0 ok. So v square that is denominator square then v that is denominator keep it as it is u dash differentiation of numerator that is 1 minus keep the numerator as it is and differentiate the denominator is equal to 0. Now if you cross multiply denominator becomes 0 that is you will get uh, v square into 
आर एस प्लस आर एल होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू आर एल इन टू आर एस प्लस आर एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो आर इफ यू टेक दिस जीरो डिवाइड बाई वी एस स्क्वायर सिंस इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन डी राइट आर एस प्लस आर एल होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू आर एल इन टू आर एस प्लस आर एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो दट गिवस आर एस प्लस आर एल होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू आर एल इन टू आर एस प्लस आर एल सो इफ यू टेक दिस देन दिस एंड दिस यू कैन कैंसल देन यू विल गेट हियर आर एस प्लस आर एल इज इक्वल टू टू आर एल आर फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन राइट दिस कंडीशन कुड बी सैटिस्फाइड इफ आर एल इज इक्वल टू आर एस सो टू आर एस प्लस आर एल इज इक्वल टू टू आर एल मीन्स आर एल शुड बी ईक्वल टू आर एस दट ईज हियर वट इज द कंडीशन वी आर गेटिंग ईज आर एल शुड बी ईक्वल टू आर एस ईज दि कंडीशन फॉर मैक्सीम पवर ट्रांसफर इन दिस केस वाट डज इट मीन वाट डज इट मीन वेन वी कंसिडर द सोर्स डी सी एंड द लोड प्यूर्ली रेजिस्टिव the condition for maximum power transfer is rl should be equal to rs means when the value of load resistance is equal to the value of source resistance then maximum power can be transferred to this load that is what the meaning of rl equal to rs for example some network is given assume some complicated network is given we have converted the given network into a thevenin's equivalent circuit by using thevenin's theorem assume that you got a thevenin's voltage is equal to 10 volts and thevenin's resistance is equal to 5 ohms then in such case what should be the value of load to transfer maximum power to the load then in that case if you use the value of load resistance is equal to the source resistance what is the source resistance that is r theta 1 and 5 ohm so here if you adjust the value of load resistance is equal to 5 ohms then you can transfer maximum power to the load that is what the meaning of this then i can give the statement of this theorem with this uh, expression now how to state the theorem statement of the maximum power transfer theorem for dc circuits so it states that in any linear bilateral network consisting of a dc source with purely resistive load maximum power can be transferred to the load if the value of load resistance is equal to the value of source resistance this is what the statement of this maximum power transfer theorem for dc circuits that is how you can state the theorem and after this statement you can derive this condition that is how if the question is asked state and prove maximum power transfer theorem for dc circuits then first you state the theorem then you prove the theorem this is how to discuss on what is the concept behind maximum power transfer for dc circuits now let us go for ac circuits